they are scenes that longtime residents of the Bay Area will never forget. Fires burning and crowds rioting in St. Petersburg following the deadly shooting of a black teen by a white officer. It's now been 25 years since Tyron Lewis was killed and chaos broke out. And as Olivia Steen shows us, those in the community where Lewis died are still looking for change. Well, a community group gathered right here on 18th Avenue and 16th Street to honor Tyron Lewis, but also highlight some of the issues they still see 25 years later. 25 years of pain, anger, sorrow, frustration, everything. Tyron Lewis's family and members of this community are still fighting for justice. When we raise up Tyron Lewis's name, we are constantly reminded and we are constantly exposing the nature of this social system that takes the lives of African people with impunity. Akile and I with the African People's Socialist Party says Lewis's death left a stain on the city. But it also marked um, a really important uh, historic rebellion that happened here in the city of St. Pete. The killing of Lewis sparked days of rioting in St. Petersburg. According to authorities, Lewis was ordered to get out of his car during a traffic stop for speeding, but he refused. Witnesses say Officer James Knight stepped in front of the vehicle and fired several shots when the vehicle started to move. Although a grand jury ruled that Officer Knight's actions were justified, people from the Democratic Uhuru movement say it was not. Who continue after 25 years to still raise the demand for reparations to the family of Tyron Lewis. On top of justice for Lewis's family, this group wants a better quality of life for black communities overall in St. Pete. That we cannot live in peace with a system that exploits, oppresses, and murders African people, black people, for our benefit. This group is also working to rename this street Tyron Lewis Avenue. In St. Pete, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side.